to show you uh, a couple of tips and tricks with uh, aquaponics. This bed here is about to be planted out today. It's um, got a couple of little plants in it that were planted out a week or so ago, plus some slightly older ones in it, all the, the vine kind of stuff, the um, climbers. So with this bed, you can see that ends you know, not too close together. Reasonably sparse, probably eight inches, 15 centimeters between each plant. So it gives them a lot of room to grow um, you know, as they pick up. And you can see this side's got a lot more, a lot more holes in that side. So generally these little seedlings, normally on this side, at the moment they're not because a bit of work was being done on pumps and things underneath the bed. Uh, this bed's a sump. On the other side over there, you can kind of see through that little window there in the other greenhouse, that's a gravel bed in there. And this side acts like a sump, it's uh, called an anchored raft. So it's basically same concept as a, a raft except it's not moving, it's not going up and down, it's not made of styrofoam. Uh, so it sits uh, at the same level all the time and the water level comes up and down so as that grow bed fills the water level in this bed goes down, as that grow bed empties into the sump the water level comes back. So the water level come back and sit just underneath the roots, you can see the water in there, it's pretty hard to see. But at the moment that's on the low level when the water comes back up it'll come about an inch from underneath so the net pots you know, see one upside down there the net pots will sit about an inch in water uh, until the system cycles so every hour or so uh, that bed fills up empties into this one which aerates it as well uh, it aerates quite well there's um, the water that comes out of that bed comes in at a decent rate and uh, you know it gives it a lot of aeration. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's it's just finished the cycle, but uh, you know a lot of movement, a lot of air going on underneath this bed. So with this bed, uh, why there's basically every second net pot is that as the plants grow, I can plant it up heavily with seedlings. Right, so that whole area, seedlings, whatever you're planting, lettuce or whatever's going in there. Um, they can go in very tight, very very tightly next to each other because uh, as you can see from little seedlings down there they don't take up much room, they're not you know, encroaching on each other for a while and uh, as the plants grow up I'm able to replant them out into say gravel grow beds uh, I've got a fair few systems here so they could go in that system or if you can see the one right over the top there's another system over the other side there near the bungalow uh, so it's just kind of keeping the planting staggered, uh, this is where all the seedlings come up. So with these net pots, um, I'm able to put a lid on them, keep the water uh, inside this sump from getting algae too much sunlight. And uh, today is a plant out day, so all these will be full. Whoop, pop. Uh, yeah, so uh, when I plant it out, there'll be one a seedling in every single tray. I'm actually planting seeds, so organic seeds are all planted in these give them a week or so to get up and after say a month when they're starting to really crowd each other um, I'm able to move that, that net pot and put in one of these filler net pots which is just a, a cap basically made out of the same material as this, the core flu that this bed's made out of um, yeah so that then allows say a lettuce here and a lettuce here I can replant this lettuce elsewhere in one of my other systems um, or even harvest it if they're getting big and uh, so that'll fill the hole, uh, making this bed about the same capacity as that bed, not as full. But uh, to start out, you know, this uh, seems to work well, planting really close together. And, uh, and having that option to uh, pull in or pull out all the, all the second plants or third plants, or you basically just do it as, as, they, as they grow, depending on what's growing faster and, uh, and whatnot. And obviously the net pot system, like this anchored raft, gives you that flexibility to move them quite easily. I can move this plant to somewhere else, you know, if it needs a better position, if it needs more sun. Uh, the other end down there is the sunny sort of side of this uh, aspect of this greenhouse. So there's chilli plants and, you know, the plants that like the heat down that end. And more lettuce and things like that will be up this end. So, um, and you know, most of the plants in that other grow bed there are being planted from here uh, and then moved across before they get too big. Uh, so as the net pot as they start growing, once the roots just start coming through the pot, um, I'll generally get all the excess out of this uh, bed and put them, replant them into other beds, you know, and uh, the gravel beds. 
because uh, the bed in there is quite large it's as large as this for area you can see it goes right down there kind of thing and uh, that's the main you know filter for this system so just show you something up here we have another another seed bed here so these are all again seedlings getting planted again today they'll be all planted in all numbered off with their sticks and whatever so it just gives me that extra room to start extra seedlings just to keep everything rotating <clears throat> obviously you know you plant a lot of lettuce it's hard to get through it all and you don't want it all coming up in one day you know all together there's no point growing a hundred lettuce you know unless you're selling to someone or giving them to a lot of neighbors you know, it's a bit of a waste so yeah just an update on why and how um, when we plant the seedlings what we do with rotation with the different grow beds and uh, and how the add-on grow beds are quite easily you know tapped into a system with simple plumbing which um, I might show you in another video how to do that without uh, having any other pipes connected to it